بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد يونس بن عبد الرحمن he is slandered a great deal and so what does he do he complains to the imam of his time I always say, brothers and sisters, if you have a complaint, sisters who complain of their husband's mistreatment, husbands who complain of their wives' mistreatment, or people who have issues um, in their lives, I say, before you complain to me, complain to the Imam of your time. If you feel like your father can't help you, complain to, to your real father. Just speak to him naturally. Say to him, you're my father, you're my master, you're my imam, you're my everything. And I'm not going to stop banging on your door until you answer me. I have no one else. I know no one else. Believe me, brothers and sisters, you will get a response. Believe me, he will answer you. Believe me, he will help you. Wallahi, he will help you. You just have to be persistent. You can't expect a response overnight because again, let's face it, we have committed so many sins. There are so many burdens resting on these shoulders. We cannot expect a response immediately. You have to go through that process of purification. You have to acknowledge your shortcomings. You have to repent to Allah before you get an answer. It takes 40 days and nights. It takes a year. But eventually the door will open. It will open, have no doubt. <clears throat> now, Yunus ibn Abdul Rahman then goes to complain to the Imam of his time. Imam al-Ridha alayhi salam, our eighth Imam. So, he sits there, he tells the Imam, this is what they're saying about me, this is how they're hurting me, this is how they're hurting my family. As they're talking, a group of people ask permission to come and greet the Imam to come and say their salams. The Imam tells Yusuf ibn Abdul Rahman to go and hide behind a curtain. So he immediately gets up, he goes behind that curtain. The Imam says to him, don't say a word. Being the obedient slave of the Imam, he doesn't argue with him whatsoever. This group comes in, they come from a particular city, I don't want to mention it. And they begin to slander, guess who? Yunus ibn Abdul Rahman. They say Yunus is this and he's that. And, and throughout all of this, the Imam is not even defending him. The Imam simply lowers his head and he listens to their uh, words. In the end, they say their goodbyes, they get up and they leave. When they leave, the Imam asks Yunus ibn Abdul Rahman to come back inside, to come out of the tent, the curtain he comes outside and he's crying he says to the imam did you see that did you hear all that the imam says to him one thing and that's a lesson for all of us the imam says ya yunus what does it hurt you if people say all these things about you but your imam is pleased with you what difference does it make all this slander all this bad mouthing, all this stuff that, all these insults, does, does all of that matter if you knew that your Imam was pleased with you? Brothers and sisters, all the suffering in the world is easy to bear if we knew that our, our Imam was pleased with us. If the Imam is pleased with me, then I know that it's going to turn out well. It's going to turn out okay. Right?